history of a curious cube by simply turning it around. An Andrus illusion like this one makes you question your own eyesight. I want you to keep staring right at the center of the trizonal space warper as it turns. Keep looking right at the center. It doesn't matter whether your eyes are in or out of focus. You look at that for 20 or 30 seconds and your vision is disturbed as if space itself was being warped. The center of the picture is absolutely still, but we see it shimmering and rippling in our minds. From the proper place, the curious crate looks impossible, absolutely, because you see the, the board, the two before is in front, and, uh, and, and behind at the same time, and there's just no way that, that your mind can accept this, unless they were bent or something, which they, of course, are not. But it has to be photographed or seen from precisely that point for it to look properly. In fact, if you walk up to it, it looks, uh, well, you might say either semi-insane or absolutely insane. It looks nothing at all close up like it does from the proper distance and the proper place. An Andrus illusion gives our minds visual clues, which may or may not lead us to the wrong conclusions. In this case, the clues tell us that we're looking at a crate. But the more we look, the more we realize that this is an impossible crate, as crates go. Each one of these things has what is loosely called an electric eye in it. And the way these lights are flashing control different functions of the organ. I did this by experimenting. I don't have a wide knowledge of electronics at all. And some of these things, I, I built them, you might say, from scratch, bent the metal, planned the whole thing. I've made printed circuits boards inside. These are different things that amplifies to give, to give different, real strange sounds. There's a spotlight shining back there that controls a wah-wah. This is what I call a paradox box, and I'll show you what it is. It's a negative box, actually, I call it. And I'm going to put this little panel in the corner of the negative box. If I add something to a negative box, it would actually seem to take something away. So now it looks like I have cut off the corner of the box and built the corner in. I'll turn the box so you can get a better view of it. Now, if I punch a hole in there, now there's a hole in the cutout corner that's built in. I'm going to put a tube in the hole. You see, if I turn the box, the negative box, paradox box, back and forth, it looks like the tube is turning, sticking out of that hole like a gun turret. Now, let me show you what the paradox box actually is. Look, it is simply a cardboard box and I have, this is the outside of the cardboard box, and I've painted the inside of the cardboard box so that it looks like the outside of a box. Once again, Jerry Andrus has challenged our perceptions and won. His inquiring mind helps us to relate the arts of magic and illusion to science and the future. In fact, contemporary theories of how the human mind works are just now beginning to agree with the ideas that Jerry Andrus had 10 years ago. It has been said to me that a man's work is a reflection of the man's mind. Well, if you look at this work, it is a pretty good reflection of my mind. I have ideas impinging on me all the time about magic and philosophy and music and... Uh, magic a way of looking at the world which plays havoc with our senses and gives us a whole new perspective on the nature of reality. Stay tuned. I may or may not reappear.